Hello everyone, it's GM Guru and welcome back to a brand new Game Maker Studio 2 tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at room transitions. Now I'm going to be showing you a kind of small animation that you can play where uh, these bars are going to be sliding down from the top and the bottom and then you're going to transition into your next room. It's just a nice little effect to make uh, a different transition from just having a simple fade or from just having a simple jump cut between rooms. It's going to add a little bit more, you know, game feel to your game. But the only thing that I have uh, pre-set up, which you guys can do yourself, is just gone and made an image. It's 1920 in width and 540 by height. So now whichever resolution you're using for your game, you just want to half the height of it. So you want to keep the same width, but half the height. And we're just going to be using one of these. Now the first thing that we're going to be doing today is making a controller object. You guys know that I like to use these, so we're going to be using one of these first. So we're going to do OBG, OBG for transition. And controller and we're gonna make sure that it's persistent okay this is a really important step guys it's not gonna work properly unless you have it persistent so make sure you're setting it to persistent now the create event we're just gonna set transition to equal minus one just set variables and make sure setting it to minus one is just the default value so we're just gonna have transition set to minus one We'll head into the step event. And in here, we're going to do uh, if keyboard, keyboard, or check underscore released. We'll just do VK space just for this example. But you guys can set whatever what you want to. Open this up a little bit. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to set transition to equal one. We're going to set the target room equal room one. And also, guys, I'll just show you quickly. I've made two rooms. We have room one, which is just 1920 by 1080. Nothing important really, just a just a room. And we have room one, which is exactly the same, but just a different color. But you guys can see that this is working properly. Those off. Have target room to equal room one. So the reason we're using this is because you might want to set your target room to different things instead of having to constantly go back into this or creating multiple transitions going to different rooms. We're also going to have the alarm zero equal 120 seconds not 120 seconds 120 milliseconds so two seconds in total uh, and i'll show you guys later on what we're going to be putting in alarm zero so the next thing that we have to do is if transition is one and if instance not exist uh, underscore divider underscore top and just Copy this here. We'll do bottom, right? So we don't actually have anything called this yet, but we're just gonna set this up now because this is what we're gonna be calling our dividers. And then we're gonna create them. We're gonna do instance underscore create a layer. I'm gonna do zero minus 540. So from the top one, it's gonna be minus 540 because the uh, origins in the top left. Minus 540, do it on the instances layer. I'm going to do obj underscore divider score. We can just copy and paste this one. Again, guys, make sure that you're remembering to change here that this is the bottom. We're also going to be changing this to 1080. So then it's sitting on, uh, on the bottom of the screen just off. So close this off here that's all working fine what we're going to do is we're going to make obj or divider underscore up drag this over here duplicate this with a right click d if you do that instead we'll make the divider on the bottom and uh they're just the same but we also want to make sure guys Make sure that you are making these persistent because again, it's not going to work if they're not persistent. So every th single object that we have here, persistent, persistent, persistent. So make sure that you're remembering to do that or else unfortunately it will not work for you. This is all fine now. It's just, I don't know why it's not. It should be fine. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to enter alarm zero. And in alarm zero, we're just going to set transition, transition equal number two. I mean, the second stage, if 
Actually, that's, I think that's it. No. If transition is equal to 2, we're going to room underscore go to target room. So after two seconds, we're going to go to the target room. We're also going to set transition equal 3. That is everything that you're going to be needing in this section here. Just run over. We have the transition to show what stage we're on. You put in here what room you are, so, well, a, not what room you are, what room you want to go to. So you set that up before, um, or you can make another object, change what the target room is in this. Um, so you'd be taking this out and changing it in whatever event that, that happens. So two seconds, we're going to change the transition to. But if we're still in transition one, it's going to check if the top one exists and if the bottom one exists. So we're not creating multiple objects to basically... Um, build up how much the game's going to be using. So we're only going to have one of each instead of crazy amount. So, or you could use var. Var works as well, but I like using it, just checking that it's not there. Create one on the top, just above the top of the screen. Create one just on the bottom top of the screen. So it's just going to be creating this divider, like here, right? And then under there as well, okay? So that's, that's all that it's going to be doing. So now, all of this set up, you want to go into room one and make sure that we are creating it there or you want to create it just before you're about to press space or on space that you create it we're going to go into divider top go into step event and i'm going to type both of them out for the bottom and the top one individually just so you guys make sure that you're getting your numbers right if you're using 1080 by uh, sorry 90 by 1080 what we're going to do in the step event and do if obj underscore transition controller dot transition equal to three all right it's equal to one so this is when it's in stage one We're gonna y is gonna equal lerp of the original y to zero zero point zero seven five so this bit basically controls the speed that it's gonna do it at and this is the target um y that we want this to move to i'm gonna close that and again, if obj underscore transition dot transition equal to three, I'm gonna do y equals lerp. I'm gonna do y comma minus five forty. So it's gonna move back up to its original position where we had it off the screen. We're gonna move that a little bit faster. So we're gonna have it come in slowly to fade out, and then we're gonna have it whip away a bit faster. Just so you're getting straight into the action. You could also implement locking your player, I guess, if you wanted to do that. Um, so people can't move until the transition's gone away. In case, you know, someone runs off the screen or whatever. We're basically going to write this again. But I'm going to write it out slowly again. Just because the numbers are different in this one. So it's if obj underscore transition. Controller transition. Equal to one. And a y equals lerp, but this time it's y comma 540. This one is 540 off the bottom. Sorry, it's moving 540 up to the middle. I'm going to have that as 0 0.075 as well. It's good to keep them um, at the same speed or else it's going to look a little bit funky. Close that one as well. And if obj underscore transition dot transition to 3 gonna have y equal lerp y and this one is gonna go off 1080 so further down the screen we'll have that going 0.1 now that is everything we need again guys key tips is just make sure that everything you can't see it but it's persistent persistent and persistent that's really really crucial or else this uh, this whole thing isn't gonna work so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into room zero make sure that we've got it there we're gonna run the game here we are in our room, and if I press space, closes in, then zooms back out and we're into the next room. It might not look as smooth on the recording, I can promise you that's smooth. I'm just going to keep doing it. It's not going to move us anywhere though, because we're already on this one. It slowly moves in, we switch room, and then it comes back out into the next room. Hey yeah, guys, again, if you want to change the speeds, make sure that you're matching these here, this one here, this one here, so 0 0.75, 0 0.75, so you'd have it, have it at like... Uh, two. This is going to go really fast. 
I think. Not too sure. This might go really fast. Oh, okay. Yep, never mind. Let's not do that. But I think you have to keep it under one. I think. As far as I'm I'm not very aware about how Lerp works, but you have to keep it under one, I think, for it to work smoothly. But yeah guys, if uh, if you want to see any more tutorials, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below as I'm more open to doing. I'm going to keep these tutorials weekly. I do have some other videos that I'm going to be bringing out soon. I've been using a bit of Unity, so we might see a little a little video of me using Unity. But yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to go smash a like. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Make sure to join my Discord, follow me on Twitter. And without further ado, guys, I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Peace out.